There is lots of evidence supporting the connection between vitamin D deficiency and MS. For example, there is a strong correlation between distance from the equator and prevalence of MS. Namely, there is greater evidence of MS the further you are away from the equator. Vitamin D is formed in the body from the action of sunlight on the skin. Vitamin D is involved in growth, bone development, and absorption of calcium from food. Vitamin D also helps to regulate the immune system and has protective effects on brain function. Its deficiency plays a major role in diseases like MS. Ashton Embry, a preeminent Canadian researcher who specializes in the MS and vitamin D connection, suggests there is a 50 to 70 percent reduction in MS lesions when UV exposure is at its maximum in summer compared to winter. An important Tasmanian study found that adequate sun exposure particularly in winter between the ages of 6 and 15, reduced the risk of developing MS in later life by about two-thirds. Sun exposure is essential for health, and sun avoidance is causing an epidemic of vitamin D deficiency contributing not only to MS, but conditions such as osteoporosis, depression, hypertension, cardiovascular disease, rheumatoid arthritis, diabetes, and some cancers. So how do we get the vitamin D you need? Getting natural sunlight as close to all over your body as practical for about 10 to 15 minutes daily, 3 to 5 times per week, on a standard UV index 7 day is the best way of getting vitamin D. Don't worry, at these levels you will not increase your risk of melanoma. But we realize natural exposure is not always possible. So if you can't get the real deal, then vitamin D supplements at least 5,000 international units, up to 10,000 international units daily is the best way to go. The exact dosage needs to be adjusted to your blood level. Aim to keep blood level of vitamin D between 150 and 225 nanomoles per liter. It's important to note that when people with MS are first diagnosed, they are almost always vitamin D deficient. So it is really important to take a booster dose to raise your level quickly to about 150 nanomoles per liter. Taking a booster dose is safe and effective. Check our website and the OMS book for more specific details. So what should you do next? Get out there when the sun is shining. Your body can't make vitamin D indoors. Set your OMS smartphone app to remind you to take vitamin D supplements and to check the UV index for the day. And get your blood tested annually at the end of winter to check your vitamin D levels and to make adjustments to your intake accordingly.